How are you? Do you remember C chord? C is the first note on the C five finger scale. That's why we call C chord one chord. And it is represented by the Roman numeral one. Pay attention to the counting, articulation, and dynamics. Remember to count steady. A steady beat means even, like a heartbeat. signature is 4-4. Four, four. We have four counts in each measure. Dynamics are going to be mezzo forte at the beginning, then on measure 7 piano, then on measure 9 mezzo forte again, and measure 11 and 12 is forte. Articulation, we have staccatos, then on measure 3 and 4 we have legato with staccato on measure 4, on measure 5, 6, 7, and 8, we don't have legato or staccato. Then measure 9 and 10, we have staccatos. And measure 11 and 12, we have legato. And again at the end, staccato, like this. If you look for patterns, we can see that measure 3 and 4 are very similar to measure 11 and measure 12. The only difference that in measure 11 and 12, you also play with the left hand. You're going to start with your finger one right hand on middle C, and your left hand is going to be on C chord on bass C. C, E, and G. Do you remember the C chord that we also call it chord one and we represent it with a capital I? You're going to play with finger five, three, and one staccato. Remember that in the C chord, C is the tonic or home note. You're going to write a capital I, which means Roman one at the beginning of each measure with a C chord. On measure five, you're going to move your finger one left hand to B. And then on measure 10, you're going to bring your left hand back to C chord on bass C. Remember to write your counts, count aloud, and don't forget your rests. One, two, three, four. 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 Watch those dynamics. 